Welcome to Condition by Kia. So in this video, I'm going to be talking all about carbs and how you can utilize them to help you to lose weight. So carbs are essentially going to be your brain and your body's energy. And without the sufficient amount, you're not going to have the right amount of energy for daily tasks, especially for exercise. And that is what's going to be your key component in the long run, nutrition and exercise hand in hand together that helps you to lose weight. So let's jump in it. You need 45 to 65% of carbs in your diet. So if you're eating a diet that is 2000 calories or about that number, you will need at least 225 to 325 grams of carbs per day. Now, this all depends on how active you are. So if you're a very active person, you're gonna need the higher end. If you're not as active, if you have a sitting job, then you're gonna need the lower side. But just know that the more carbs you eat, the more energy you're gonna have. So the very minimum is going to be 130 grams for basic brain function. If you are not hitting the 130 grams, you will find very bad side effects in the long run. So a very basic calculation you can make is you're gonna grab your body weight and you're gonna multiply that by 2.7. And that number is gonna be your minimum of carbs that you yourself are gonna need. And then make the high end of that and make that 4.5 times your body weight. And that is gonna be the maximum. Now, depending on the level of athlete that you are, you may need more or less. But if you are a high level athlete, usually you have a nutritionist or a coach that's guiding you along with the right amount of calories in that aspect. Um, but as for the general public, 2.7 to 4.5 times your body weight is gonna be your range of carbs that you are going to need on a daily basis. So the type of carbs that you choose to eat are very important as well. So this is why the GI index becomes a very important factor because the GI index basically means the glycemic index. So basically that means the glycemic index, which measures the blood glucose response to the food that you just put in. Some foods will bump your sugar levels really high, really fast. Some foods will be a slow progression and ease over time. And those are usually the low glycemic index ones. The high glycemic high glycemic index foods are gonna shoot you up and then you're gonna feel a crash so pre-workout foods should be on the low glycemic index side so that you do not feel that crash but you have the constant energy instead so a quick note on that low glycemic index foods typically are going to be in the veggies the green leaf veggies beans and legumes those are going to be on the lowest side on the medium side, you're gonna have like the beans, the legumes, those are actually medium, not really low. Um, wild or brown rice. Um, on the high side, you're gonna have the white bread, the white rice, the potatoes, watermelon, mango, all of the high sugary fruits are gonna be on the high side. If you download or find a a glycemic index chart that's actually even better to help you with your pre-workout foods so that way you have that levels of energy that you need throughout your exercise so when you eat good carbs they're gonna be consisting usually of vegetables fruit beans legumes grains brown rice wild rice potatoes stuff of that sort those are gonna be the best carbs for you now I would always recommend to my clients, and I still do recommend to my clients, to try to cut out or minimize as much as possible anything made with yeast or flour and high sugar. If you can eliminate those carb products, you are gonna find yourself losing weight way faster. Now let's jump into fiber. So you need 14 grams of fiber per 1,000 calories of your diet. So if you're eating 2,000 calories for the day, you're gonna need 28 grams of fiber. Now, why is this important? Because it's gonna help you to feel full longer so you don't overeat. It's gonna help you with your digestive system so that way you have a healthy digestive tract. 
with a healthy digestive tract, you're gonna have a balance of hormones inside of there that's gonna help you to lose weight. So in general, a very basic plate example it, or bowl example would be if you would fill half your plate with carbs or half your bowl with carbs. So basically, if you're a person who likes rice and beans, that would be half your bowl or half your plate of a healthy rice and beans. Or it could be green vegetables and it could be fruit. The more green vegetables you eat, is better for you because that is gonna help you with that digestive tract and it's gonna help you to keep that level of natural fiber within your body. So what happens if you are not eating enough carbs? How do you know if you're not eating enough? So the telltale signs are gonna be if you're feeling constantly exhausted. If you go do your workout and after your workout, you feel more drained than usual. Um, you're gonna get headaches, you're gonna get stomach issues because you're not having enough fiber to help you out with the digestive tract. You're gonna end up with dizziness and lightheadedness. And there are definitely many more factors to it depending on your body and your, your own person. So definitely make sure you do that calculation for yourself and see how many carbs you need for the day and go based off of your activity level. Remember, the more active you are, the more you need. Well, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for joining in. Make sure you hit like, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. I hope you have an awesome and wonderfully blessed day. Thanks for watching.